this video is to explain what some people are calling like a one tick pulse. The idea is when I push this button, I want a line to go high for exactly one tick. This isn't a very easy to explain thing. Let me try to explain why it's needed. So I'm trying to create a uh, binary uh, adder circuit uh, and that's triggered off of a clock. So rather than a clock, I wanna just push a button and I want that button to trigger a pulse. And I need that pulse to stay up long enough for the, you know, the system to work properly. Uh, so this, this system, this simulation is based on ticks. So every time there is a tick, um, it does a certain amount of simulation. If I bring up this debug console, which I did by hitting the tilde key, I can maybe make this a little easier to understand. I'm going to type in server simulation dot rate of one. That's the slowest rate. So hopefully you can kind of see what happens here. I'm going to push this button. It's the signal is going to travel through this line. It's going to go to one and it's going to go to this inverter. Then it's going to go to a second inverter. And if I'm not mistaken, when I connect two things to an inverter like this, I get a NOR gate. It's going to be one only if both of those inputs on this pin are zero. And that is going to happen for a short pulse of time here. Uh, between the interaction of the uh, signal coming off here and the two tick delay here, this thing will become momentarily high, uh, hopefully for one tick. So I'm gonna click this button and I have to hold it down long enough for it to register the button. It just briefly goes high, that's the intent here. Again, it just briefly goes high. So that's what I want. That's, that's the whole purpose of this video is to show this. Uh, the circuit is basically this inverter hooked into an inverter and also the uh, pulse that, you know, the input to this is also in parallel going through this delay, two tick delay. You could change the delay, by the way, by coming up with like X, but there's a like currently like a little glitch in the game where you can't change it. So I'm going to delete the output and try again. And now it lets me change it. So I'm just setting the delay to two ticks and then connecting that to this inverter. I believe that's effectively a NOR gate. A NOR gate would be it's only true when both inputs are false. Again, click the button, hold it down. It goes to the simulation and briefly goes high. Again, I got to hold it down long enough. And that's it. That's all I have. That could be helpful for a number of purposes in this game. And uh, thanks for watching.